Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Build Apps Training on anubavtrainings.com. In the last episode, we discussed about introduction to what is SAP Build Apps. In our today's session, we are going to understand a brief architecture of when are you developing a build app application, what are the different components you will be developing, what will be the front end component and what will be the back end component and a quick secret about what is actually SAP using behind the scene as the powerful framework which allows us to use the low code no code development with visual programming. So let's get started. If you like my work, please like, share and subscribe the channel with your fellow clicks. Also put the link of this video series in the WhatsApp group of your company. So your colleagues can also take an advantage of this training. Having said that, let's get started our today's session on the broad architecture for SAP build apps. So you can see this is how the interface would look like when you would want to design any build apps application. So here you will see all the UI controls like button, radio button, checkbox, text, title, switch, drop down, and you will be dragging and dropping these controls here. So this, whatever you are putting here, this whole code gets converted into a HTML page and it will get stored in the server. So whenever your user launch the application, this entire code which is converted into an HTML will be will be sent to the client, will be sent to the mobile of the user. Then comes is the business logic. So then you have a button. Now for this button, whatever code you want to write, that will be your code which will be executed in the server. So client, when user click the button, client will send a request to the server and the server some code will run. Now, where do you write that code? As a developer, you will write that code in this graphical modeler tool. Yeah. So you can see you are not writing a code actually. You are just connecting these, these small, small elements, UI elements. So this is your graphical modeling tool which actually generates a code. So you are directly not writing the code but you are just connecting these graphical nodes and this node nodes will produce the, the code behind the scene and this code will be executed on the server side. Yeah. Now, what is this graphical node based programming? This programming is called node red. Now, what is node red? Node red is a framework which is built on top of node JS. Yeah. It is a framework which is an open source framework given by IBM. So long, long back, IBM have thought that not everybody can build application by coding. So they come up with a graphical programming language, which is called as Node Red. So what SAP did is SAP adopted this Node Red programming language, which is a graphical programming language. So you as a developer would no need to write line by line code rather than you will be given for every piece of command you want to give to computer. You have been given these standard nodes. You drag drop these nodes and you connect them together and behind the scene, the code will get generated. So SAP behind the scene adopted this open source node red framework given by IBM and they integrated that over here. It's open source. So anybody can use it. So SAP did that integration. So that way as a developer, you don't have to write coding. Yes, as a citizen developer, you just connect these nodes together. So for everything, there is a code. If you want to send some response, you want to give a pop up, you want to give a, a message to the user or you want to call a business process or you want to change a variable value or you want to do loop something, you want to do if condition for everything. There is a node predefined node. You just drag drop this node from the right side and you visually connect these nodes. This is called visual programming. And that way your server side code will be prepared. So when you click the button, what will happen that you will do it using node red. Yeah, IBM's node based programming, not writing the manual coding and you drag drop, everything will be created and will get stored. And when you click the button, this code transform into a JavaScript code at runtime in the server. And this runs in the server side. So don't worry. If it is confusing you, we will see that in action. That time it will be more clear. But those who come, those who as a work as a pro developer, if you've taken my BTP CAPM training or UI5 training, now you are able to understand what's going on. So on the top, the code what you're writing will run on server side. At the bottom, the code which you're writing 
or the graphical nodes which are connecting together to generate the code using IBM's Node-RED program, Node-RED framework that is going to run in the server side. So that's the architecture at the at the time of development.